Hey everybody. Today we're talking about percentiles and quantiles in R. Let's start just by reviewing what those words mean. Percentiles are an intuitive way of measuring relative position within a data set. In general, the pth percentile of a set is a value that's greater than p percent of the data. So, for example, the 50th percentile of a data set is the median, the 25th percentile is the first quartile, and the 75th percentile is the third quartile, the value that lies above 75% of the data. Unfortunately, there's no one universally accepted way of computing percentiles. Different books, different authors, and different stats professors will use slightly different methods. The good news is that all of the methods yield very similar results in general. Um, we'll skirt around the issue of how exactly to compute it, um, uh, compute percentiles by using technology. I think in the 21st century, that's really the best solution. Quantiles are essentially the same thing as percentiles. And that word gets used slightly differently as well by different authors and different stats professors and so on when talking about data sets. The most common usage is that quantiles will be decimals and percentiles will be integer values. So you'll have the 15th percentile, but the 0.15 quantile. Um, in particular, that's, this lets us write quantiles with as many decimal places as we like. All right, so let's switch over to R and uh, see how to actually compute these things. We'll be using the faithful data set that comes built in with R. I've used the view command to pull up a preview of it. We have 272 observations of eruption length and waiting time of the old faithful geyser in the United States. These are measured in minutes. I've also used the um, ggplot command to create a rough and ready histogram there in the lower right. So right off the bat, we have some sense of the shape of the distribution. Um, I'm going to be looking at the waiting time variable in this case. All right, so let's actually compute some percentiles and quantiles. Conveniently, the command is quantile, and it needs two arguments. First of all, we have to let R know what variable we're interested in. So in this case, it's going to be faithful dollar eruptions. I'm sorry, let's do waiting time. There we go. Next, we need to let R know which quantile we want. So let's do the 35th quantile. Um, sorry, the 0.35 quantile, the 35th percentile. Notice the syntax here. It's 0.35, not 35. So it really is written as a quantile. And we get 65 out. We interpret this to mean that um, about 35% of all eruptions have a waiting time of less than or equal to 65. Now, one nice thing is that R will let us input a vector of quantiles. So we can do multiple quantiles at once. So using the up arrow to get to my previous command, I'm going to go and edit it. So uh, I'm going to use a vector, C parenthesis 0.35, Let's do 0 0.70 and 0 0.95. There we go. And the result is a vector of quantiles. We find that uh, the 35th percentile is 65, the 70th percentile is 81, and the 70 and rather the 95th percentile is 89. Fantastic. Um, one other command that's useful in this regard is the summary command. Again, we just feed it the variable in this case, so faithful dollar waiting. You can also feed it an entire data frame and it will summarize each of the variables. Let's just stick to the one variable here. It gives us back the first um, quartile, the 25th percentile, the median, which is the 50th percentile, and the third quartile, which is the 75th percentile. It also gives us the min, max, and mean. So it's giving us a five number summary plus the mean in this case. So that's how, um, or there are two ways that we can take a data set and get and learn which values correspond to different percentiles. What about the opposite question? What if we have a value within that distribution and we'd like to know what percentile it is? So here the command is ECDF. And again, we need to feed R the um, variable we're interested in. So in this case, it's faithful dollar waiting. 
Here the syntax is a little bit unusual for R. We close up that parenthesis, open another one, and insert the value from the data set that we're interested in. So um, in this case, let's go ahead and do 79. That first line, the first um, observation in our entire data set. And we get 0.6617647. So that's going to be the quantile of a waiting time of 79. So the percentile of that value is going to be 66.